What's up guys, I'm Cousin Tino. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to these videos where we reveal behind the velvet curtain insights into some of my favorite tricks and illusions from my TV specials here in Australia and around the world. Now, if you haven't subscribed, do that right now. Turn on the notifications because the videos are coming to you every single Friday and you do not want to miss them. Write some comments, start a conversation with us. With that being said, let's jump right in. Okay, we're going to take a look at one of my iconic escapes called Breathless. Originally designed and created for my first television special back in 2012. In actual fact, this was the first time an Australian magician had had their own television special. So it was a pretty big deal and I wanted to make a big splash. Now, my hero, my inspiration is Harry Houdini. Now, Harry Houdini was famous for being an escape artist for kind of starting the genre, but also he did many, many, many wonderful things. He created this escape called the water torture set. He was upside down, placed inside a water tank, a sheet or cover would come up and he would make his escape. The other thing he would do in full view was he'd be tied or, or strapped to a, a wooden chair with a hundred foot rope and he'd make his escape. And I thought, well, if Houdini was around today, what would he do? So I thought if we could take the rope tie and change it around, make it locks and the water tank and put them together, we'd have something pretty special. But we could take it one step further by actually having the tank fill up. And that idea came about from the scene in Titanic where Leonardo DiCaprio is chained, I think it's still like this um, big kind of uh, tube and he's chained in, the water's rising and, and, and he's trying to breathe and at the last minute he takes, uh, takes a gulp of air. That's where the inspiration for this particular escape came from. Now, the idea was great, the aesthetics were great, but it was very difficult to actually pull off. So this is what we actually had to do. In order to get that water to get into the tank, 1600 liters of water in one minute, we had to pump it. We needed to use an industrial size pump, which required an actual motor. Now that meant that the water had to be raised up higher to get into the tank. So we placed, believe it or not, a makeshift pool inside the back of my actual tra truck. And then we put the pumps in there and from the truck and the pool, the water was pumped into the actual tank. Now you don't see that on screen because the truck is, is elsewhere, but you see all the pumps. And the other problem we had was the water was coming in so quickly that it was making it murky and, and foggy. Now, unfortunately, when you do an escape, people are very cynical, very judgmental. If they can't see you, they think that maybe you're not picking the locks, you're, you're, not, you're not holding your breath. So we had to contend with that. So we had to find the balance between the water coming in too quickly and, and, and it being murky and then too slow and it being kind of monotonous and boring. Uh, the other thing you don't know about this particular escape is that I actually ended up going to the emergency room during rehearsals. I ended up with 12 stitches on my forehead because I actually smacked my head against the steel grill that's placed on top of the tank. Now nobody knows about it except for my family and the producers because we thought that if the producers found out that, that I had hit my head that they would pull the stunt because it was too dangerous or we wouldn't get the insurance to actually be able to do it. So I had black stitches in my forehead. Now if you look closely, you can actually see the stitches. But now, uh, now you guys actually know as well. So there's a little bit of a backstory to it. Let's take a look right now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Next, prepare to witness a world first as Cosentino attempts an escape that will leave you Breathless. For all my stunts, but especially breathless, my mindset is as important as my physical fitness. And the process I use to get into the zone is very strange. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure how I get there, but I know when I'm ready. As long as my mind is in the right place, my body will simply follow. First, my legs are shackled with Smith & Wesson cuffs, the same ones used by the Los Angeles Police Department. Then my hands are bound with the same model of handcuff. Next, my chest and body are secured to the chair with over two meters of chain and fastened with a padlock. The water used to prime the lines in the tank is drained. And finally, 
the most uncomfortable and restrictive restraint is locked around my neck. Hoist him up. A crane designed to lift 25 tons hoists me into the air and lowers me into the tank. So now I have two handcuffs, two leg irons, one neck restraint, two meters of a chain, two body padlocks. And then on top of all that, two final locks are secured to the top of the cage. I'll have to unpick all of these with just one lock pick. Once I'm inside the cell, I'll take a moment to compose myself, visualize the escape, and then give the okay. Once I do that, there's no turning back. Fill her up. Oh, look at that water coming in. Okay, so both those people locking me up were my brothers. You notice on my wrist I have my lock picks and a spare lock pick and I also have a stopwatch. The stopwatch keeps me on track 10 to 12 seconds per lock. Now I want to get out of as many locks as quickly as possible before the water is above my head. And it truly is very restrictive. There's both my brothers. You see me check my stopwatch. Off. Just trying to loosen up the chains. Let's lock on the chest. That's my mother there looking very concerned. I'm wiggling as much as I can. Now those people are really genuinely scared. They're not actors in there. You can't make an actor act like that. This was one shot, one opportunity to get this right. We didn't refilm it 10 times and go back. This is it. More difficult now because my head is going under the water. Okay, neck restraint is off. I'm trying to get as much air as I can by lifting my head up. Now this is very, very difficult because usually when you do an underwater escape, you compose yourself and you take in as much air as you can before you go underwater. In this, in this op uh, escape, I didn't have that opportunity. Uh, it's a very shallow breath, which is very difficult, which I found out later. I was used to composing myself, taking my final breath and then going underwater. Didn't have that shot here. The lady next to my mother is actually my auntie. You'll notice that my leg iron is still on my leg. I have to now go back down and undo it. Looking for the top padlocks. There we go. And this is all done by touch and feel because I can't see what's happening at all. It's off. See, look at my eyes, my face, how exhausted I am. My brother helping me out. Body's depleted of oxygen. I can't even get my legs out. Wow. Very tough escape. That's why I've never done it since. And something like this takes six months to train and prep to mentally, physically that get prepared. That was exhilarating, terrifying at least. My heart's still pumping. <laughs> oh, I was actually looking around and see what there was that I could break that, break that glass. So I thought it was a bit of strife. We are going to be telling our grandkids about that we got to see this live. And uh, yeah, what a treat. Yeah, very nice. Truly, truly exhausting escape. Audience on their feet. So there you have it, the Breathless Escape. Very unique, very, very different, combining the best of the best, putting it together. And uh, 
Once again, I keep saying it over and over again, very difficult, very challenging to pull off uh, logistically, to get it right, to get it right for filming. Um, very, very tough. But looking back now, and I haven't seen this in a long, long time, it, 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 it was a, a real beautiful, dramatic escape. And uh, very, very proud of that. Once again, guys, if you're liking these videos, leave some comments, keep subscribing, let me know, and I'll keep doing them. Until next time, be safe, look after one another, and remember to always believe.